finally home. All right then, job hunting, here we go. Mm, I did that, and that. Was banned from that place. Underperformed here, overqualified for this one. Oh look, this one has my name on it. Don't ever apply again. <sighs> Subtle. visited this place in almost two years. I wonder what jobs they have available here. I guess I'll take whatever I can. Let's see. Uh, wow. All right then. Um, hi. Can you tell me why this ad is so crummy and covered in dust? It seems it's been hanging on that board for years. Oh, that? You must be new here. Um, no. Not really. Well, everyone is avoiding this job like the plague. What? Why? I don't really know firsthand, but there's been a rumor going around about that place and a mad scientist working there. Basically, a friend of a friend of a janitor I once knew went there, Seems and legit. he returned in one week completely freaked out. The guy working there is a complete creep. Well, I certainly am a magnet for creepy. Still... This does seem like my line of work. I did major in chemistry. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to ask. Hi, I'm calling about the ad. You need an assistant with chemistry expertise? Yes, that is indeed what I need. Among other things. However, before we continue, I need to view your credentials. Other things? Holy crap, that voice is so creepy. The girl at my university wasn't kidding. Hello? Right, credentials. I've already sent my credentials via email, as it was requested in the ad. If you didn't receive it, I can send them again. That won't be necessary. I received it. Miss... Mrs... Miss. Miss Elliot Torres. These are some impressive scores here. However, I will need to evaluate your skills in person. Should I sign you up for a trial period? What would I be doing, exactly? I will email you a list of tasks. Ah, got them. What about work hours? Also, this place seems a little desolate. What about transport? Work hours? You will be working overtime, which will be adequately compensated. If, of course, you satisfy all the given conditions that are required of you, the transport and lodging are taken care of. I... see. Well, thank you for all the info, Mr... Doctor. Dr. Stein. Uh, yes. Of course. I... We'll need to think about this proposal. Of course. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Ugh. This seems really shady. I should probably take a look at some other jobs. Any luck? A prank call. Professional level. You get those a lot. Uh, hey sis. Found anything? No. Don't give me that look. You know I'm doing everything I can. Are you really? You have been unemployed for two years now. How difficult can it possibly be to keep just one job? I'm seriously starting to question your intelligence. I'm sorry. That was a little out of line. But the situation is bad. We are all under a lot of stress. With my maternity leave, Henry's daily job and my benefits aren't enough to cover the utilities and other expenses. We might be without electricity next month, or telephone. We need to start cutting corners. And with mom in the hospital... I know! I just... I have the worst luck with finding jobs. Or simply lack the skill. Or get the creepiest ones available. You are exaggerating. Oh yeah? Now then, I know this might seem difficult at first, 
But with enough practice, you'll do just fine. Oh, come on. Louis is a sweet man. You could have worked there. Yeah, till you see him chop a cow in half. He found passion in his work. Uh, let's try this again. For the tenth time today, don't entangle the strings. I can't help it. They stick to my hands. Yeah, you're doing it wrong. But let me show you again. It's very simple. What you gotta do is just tangle this Wait, around here. Wait, what is that? Is that wax? God, I hope that is just wax. Yeah, finally understand? Oh, um... <laughs> yes, of course. Absolutely. Every word. Every word. Okay, I know how this might seem to you. But I do not have a focus problem. Apart from creeping the hell out of me, I also couldn't follow the instructions because I couldn't decipher a word he was saying. And well, after a while... I couldn't just ask him to repeat it all over again. For the eleventh time. He would definitely think I was trolling him. Uh, a what? Uh, making fun of him. I swear. Sometimes I need a thesaurus too when I'm listening to you. And then there's the bakery incident. Hey, you, it's a rolling pin, not a weapon! Alright, I'll stop you right there. I admit that one was my fault. I hooked you up for a job in the most popular bakery in town, knowing that whatever food goes through your hands either ends up tasting like ash, having hardness of oh, concrete, oops. well, this can't be good, or just gravel texture. So, how's the pudding? Surprisingly crunchy. Or all three combined. Hey, where are you going? I think I have an appointment with my dentist. And who could forget the cinnamon rolls? Or, as I like to call them, charcoal spirals. Gee, thanks sis. That makes me feel so much better. Oh, look at it from the bright side. I didn't have to fear food poisoning for at least a week. Well, actually, there is a difference between regular charcoal and activated charcoal used for medicinal purposes. You see, the activated charcoal, or in other terms called activated carbon, is You're made from- You're missing the point. I was just teasing you. Don't take it so seriously. Honestly, though, I thought they would just hire you as a cleaning lady there, not assign you to knead the dough. That decision clearly sunk their popularity for a while. 20 surveys? This shouldn't be too hard. Well, I certainly didn't expect this kind of place. Though by the name it goes by, I probably should have. It's no big deal. All I have to do is find 20 people to fill this. Yes? Excuse me, would you be interested in filling one of our surveys? Guess not. Um... Uh. Splendid! Just in time for my performance! Come in, come in! Welcome! Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I think I got the wrong doors. Sorry. Really? Let me guess. He was blind on one eye, was limping, and had a bloody... something in his hand. A chisel and a hammer, yes! You see? You are finally starting to understand me. He also wore nothing but a bloody apron and a cylinder hat. Uh... <laughs> Potato peeling. A piece of cake. I can't believe people would pass him such an easy job. <laughs> it's not so bad. I'm sure there are tetragonal potatoes existing somewhere in this world. Oh, <laughs> hi boss. Look, this one is eager to become a fry. Then don't ever come back! This one is completely on you. No ridiculous, blown out of proportion story can save you here. It was an easy job and you blew it. And why? Because you were bored? Give me a break. Life is tough. It will not pamper you. I... know. 
but it seemed toughest of all because I felt like I was completely wasting my time. Mind-numbing. Oh, don't you go on about wasting time. You did nothing else but play games for a year. I know, but I'm doing the best I can. No, you're doing best and making up excuses. Listen here. For a year that Henry and I moved in here with you and mom, all you have been doing is sitting on your ass. And I said nothing, thinking you had some sort of plan or at least some job on hold. You know, you're freeloading here too. Freeloading? You do realize my husband is currently the only one bringing a paycheck home? And so did I before my maternity leave. So don't you dare mention freeloading to me! Hello, postnatal hormone bomb. For God's sake, you are 27! You can't expect to have mom feed you and clothe you for the rest of your life, especially now after her surgery. You know she won't be able to return to her job for a while. Oh yeah, that's it. Rump sawed all over that wound. As if I'm not already depressed about this whole thing enough. You say that, and yet somehow you are doing nothing to repair that situation. Easy for you to say. You already have everything perfect in your life. Excuse me? Is your laziness in any way my fault? You still don't fully comprehend the gravity of this situation, do you? This is not about you and me competing here. We all need to contribute if we are to get out of this crisis. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Clara? What is it? How can you always be so strong and confident about everything? You never got fired once, no matter what job you had. Because I have to be. Even if I'm not sometimes. No boss wants a slacker or a screw-up working there. I have to go. Go? Go where? There is one more job I should try. Wish me luck. Who would have thought? All right. But all it took was just a wee bit of confidence. Let's do this! Because surely enough, I got the job. So don't you dare mention freeloading to me! I just went completely <laughs> psycho on that. I hope that's hormonal enough. And don't come back! That's right! The owner of the crying onion is in fact me! Cobra Commander! Cobra! La -la 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 -la! I'm just... I'm so lonely.